Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. We're still in the quest to investigate the inkwell, uh, which uh, turned out to be a little bit more difficult than expected. So uh, I rested and uh, we went down kind of a slope to this main portion which I assume is going to be the root cause or the source of all evil. So uh, let's take a look what exactly this is about. It takes no genius to assume that this here is going to be an end fight. So we better get ready. Oh, this can't be good. Are you? Silence! Confess! Let them speak! If we speak, shall you listen? This is not going to be good. I am no witch hunter. Never was. against myself. Can I join in too? Shadow. It's working. Keep at it. You'll get it next time. Okay, we dodged his ranged attack. The shadow's got its strength back. Don't let the ooze get back to its shadow. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, 
<laughs> got ourselves down. Let's hope this is not going to mean anything negative. are dangerous and I've no reason to show mercy. Oh, wow. okay. You'll get it next time. Your strikes do nothing. You won't do that again. Not anymore! Bloody shadow! I'll take care of this thing. Okay, we need to fight her with Anthea. She almost takes no damage from anything but Anthea. Your strikes do nothing. Let me. I would let you, but the problem... This just won't do. <sighs> the problem is I don't have ghost energy. I need to be the one to face it. I get it, game. I get it. I wonder what the third enemy is going to be. Saved my banish for that one. Going to be Fairfax McFat. We use rituals to help the living, not curse them. Uh oh. Magic is only a tool. Once more with healing. Okay, they share a hit point pool apparently. Okay. Come on, and get yourself together. I think this one is mine. It's certainly going well. Ready and waiting. Damn you. Let me. Oh, come on, really? I'm right here, you know.
I'll take care of this thing. Okay. Things. percent sure how that made sense because we were judged and he finished with the guilty are known yeah we were found guilty dude enough can we blessed garb Melee and punch attacks damage increased by 10% for each manifestation in cooldown. Vitality would be going massively down. Okay. Please Don't like get that. Deferian symbol. A uh, Leviathan sy uh, symbol. That's good. Defeating an enemy with punch. Oh, that is really good. That is fantastic. Let's put that on. Of here. Good, we found three Scorch Accretions, that's massive as well, and we have a bone to pick with our esteemed uh, Chancellor. That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced, but all I feel is beaten. I feel judged. Like, I'll never be understood again. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such specter of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. Unable to look within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Oh, yeah. People here are plenty guilty. I feel something close. Oh boy. 
I'm still considering whom to blame for this. Is it the son that just toys with the evil or is daddy the one to blame? Potentially. Ah, this one is all the way up to Haskell. I see. But before we do that, where is this here leading? All right, let's check our map real quick. Looks like a perfect hideout for a secret. <laughs> Told you. Get out of there. The devil take you. Very good. Not sure why they appeared on my way back, but the witch stone is worth it. I'm saying that although I have absolutely no idea what which zone is being used for. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, and purposes, it could be kind of at the end a little gimmick where uh, the game tells you, well, Saiken, you collect the 3000 witch stone. Duh. Good job. this leading you are kidding me right cool Good, we got plenty of resources and I hope, sincerely, sincerely hope that we can finally upgrade our weapons and armor. We can most certainly finally get up to Haskell and have the dialogue with the governor. That down there, it was, I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. Yet now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I hope that you forgive me too. To the soul to be at once. One thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh. 
Perfect setting. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell. While piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith. My friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. Yeah, it's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people hear. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a woman, a teacher, living peaceably among friends, until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said, and you must save us or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them, but he could give them a witch. She would confess or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you. Aha! Poison it was then. The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna, Hemlock, Foxglove? Betrayal. Truth unspoken. Secrets and lies. Wrongs, basically. Your wrongs. The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius. The wrongs that led to her death. She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. Twas not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. We're going to definitely sacrifice him. Been waiting for that a while. You had the power to stop the madness. 
but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meat. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. Shame on me if I don't do it. Oh, it's best. No. Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? For good! Far from it. Then, who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness and uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. For your fee. One of the many debts my father left me. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here. And that we shall. I will upgrade uh, the weapons a little bit and get ready for our next adventure. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. That's a perfect time to close today's episode. We finally got Haskell at uh, peace-ish. As much as uh, you can get something at peace. And somewhere over there, I think, is where our next journey leads us. I hope we can now go to New Eden, or at least very close to New Eden. We fixed both of that, those cases. There are still a couple more to go, but most of them are uh, unknown at this point. Thanks a lot for watching, 
if uh, you would have saved the uh, major uh, mayor let me know in the comments down below and uh, please judge that like button very harshly and let me know what the judgment uh, get uh, got up to is it an up or a down thanks a lot have a good one bye bye